Alright guys, there's something that I wanted to talk about that uh, came up in that first live Q&A call I did in the Brotherhood. And that was about um, you know, why people have a pattern to cheating on their diet. Okay? And uh, you know, basically I was talking to the guy who had just joined the Brotherhood. He had lost 100 pounds, doing dirty keto, started gaining some weight back. And one of the issues he was having is he was cheating on the weekends. Okay? And, um, you know, like the amateur psychologist, the amateur detective in me kind of like perked his little ears up when he heard that because it doesn't make sense to me that you cheat on your diet according to the calendar, okay? Now, if you were to say like, I can go on you know, the pure protein diet for 10 days and then I cheat, that would make sense to me. That would make sense because like at the body fat you're at right now, the body composition you're at right now, you can go 10 days on a pure protein diet and then you become severely depleted and you need you need to eat, you need to switch it out. You know, you might have like a higher, like a refeed day, a fat refeed day, you know, fat cycling, diet break, etc. But that makes sense to me, you know, because like for me, I could probably go about, you know, nine days. I could probably go like two weekends with a five day work week in between. That's nine days in a row on the pure protein diet. After that, I start to get a little bit depleted and I need to switch things up. Okay, so it would make sense if the guy was like, yeah, you know, I go like, you know, two weeks and then all of a sudden I have to cheat on my diet. But my issue was, he says it was every weekend. So we started to unpack this. We started to talk a little bit. What he basically said is he's very busy at work. Okay? So he doesn't really have time to think about how hungry he is or think about food or anything like that. And, um, you know, so he basically just takes his food with him, goes to work, eats his food according to the clock, according to the schedule that he's made, and he comes home. But then on the weekends, he kind of has some time to think about cooking and eating and stuff, a little bit more time to relax, and then he cheats. So it kind of occurred to me that it has more of a psychological or emotional reason for him to be cheating on his diet every weekend than for him to just be like, you know, then for him to just go ahead and be like, you know, cheating after a certain period of time because the body is depleted and he actually needs the extra nutrients, okay? So, what my suggestion was for him, since he's on the pure protein diet right now, which is a very, it's a high protein, extremely low carb, relatively low fat diet that will allow you to lose body fat quicker while maintaining muscle mass. But the thing about it is, um, you know, like I, a lot of times, because it is a, you know, a, a low carb calorie diet, I have people doing cycling, okay, fat cycling. So basically like a hard workout daily, more fat, eat closer to maintenance calories. And then on the days when you don't have a hard workout or you've got a day off, you'll go ahead and be on the pure protein diet. What I suggested to him is that he stay on the pure protein diet during the week and on the weekends he eat at maintenance for his goal body weight. So he's 30 pounds overweight right now. Or he wants to lose 30 pounds. So he would eat at maintenance, okay, for his goal body weight, okay? So he's probably about, I figured it was like maybe three, 400 calories in the hole if he's 230 and eats maintenance for 190, okay? So he would basically be able to increase his calories on the weekend, increase his fat intake on the weekend, eat more fun foods on the weekend, okay? And then during the week, he would eat at the low calorie, you know, low fat, very low carb, pure protein diet. So that would allow him to lose a lot of fat during the week. On the weekends, he can pull in the reins a little bit, you know, kind of relax a little bit, and like, you know, just, you know, eat a little bit more. Still within reason, still in a, you know, several hundred calorie deficit, but he doesn't have to push it that hard. So during the week, he's not really thinking about food, he's not thinking about eating, he's thinking about work, work, work all day, because he works long hours, and he works very intensely when he's at work. And then on the weekends, he can go ahead and eat higher fat, higher calories, you know. And I mean, like I said, I mean, I love omelets, I love bacon, I love eggs, I love cheese, green butter, you know. Uh, you know, there are some things that I used to do, like I pepperoni pizza. I take like a small saucer and literally cover it with you know, little pepperonis, put some cheese on it. So the pepperoni pizza was a pizza made out of pepperoni. But the thing about it is, you know, like I said, that's higher calories. That's higher fat, and that's more fun type of food that you can afford to eat on the weekends, assuming you still stay under your maintenance calories. And then, like I said, you do the bulk of the work during the week. So it gives you a mental, psychological, emotional break from the diet on the weekends, still keeps you in a caloric deficit, and doesn't ruin the work you've done all week because he is like.
like me. He said himself, you know, if he just goes, you know, balls to the wall on one or two days on the weekend, he could destroy all the progress he made during the week. So, you know, like I said, normally fat cycling, I suggest people do this as in hard workout days you eat more, light workout days, rest days you eat less. But here, I suggest you actually eat less pure protein calories, pure protein macros during the week. And then on the weekends, when he tends to cheat, he can, you know, relax a little bit, eat more fun foods, eat more food, and enjoy his weekends a little bit more. Because, you know, what do they say, uh, you know, the devil's playground is an idle mind or something. But he's not working on the weekends, that's when he cheats on his diet, and this is the way around it. Anyway, it's just a little thing for you guys to think about. You know, like you said, like, why do you cheat? I mean, you know, like, why do you cheat? Is it like every time somebody comes over to visit, you pull out the cake and the, you know, and, and the fucking beer, or you pull out the cake and the, you know, and, and the coffee and the sugar and the cream and you cheat on your diet? Or is it like every weekend you go to a bar, when you go to the bar, you eat all the bar food and the, you know, the saute mushrooms and stuff? Or, you know, why is it that you cheat? And like I said, with this guy, it had nothing to do with having company over or hanging out, like, in, you know, in a, in a bad place to eat on the weekends. So it just had to do with, him having more time to think about food and you know getting himself in trouble. So anyway, just so something to think about. If you really want to know exactly how to do this, get fat adapted, find your goal body weight, set up your maintenance calories, set up your uh, pure protein diet calories, stay on the pure protein diet using fat cycling, using you know uh, refeed days, cheat days, etc., etc., etc. Diet breaks. It's all in the low carb cutting and bulking 2.0 program. Go ahead and check out the, uh, just the link in the description below. And um, most importantly, it includes a lot of information about how to transition out of the diet so that you can go back to maintenance calories without getting any body fat. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll answer them in other videos. Aside from that, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you in the next